Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add a product to your website, and we are using WooCommerce. So when you log in, you'll see the back end of your website looks like this, and down here is WooCommerce, and here are products. You're going to go to All Products. Actually, let's just go right to Add New. Either way, you can get there. I'll, I'll go to All Products first. So here's a list of your, the products that are currently in your e-commerce system and we're just going to add a new one which again you can go to the left and add new or you can actually go to the top and add new either way you go to the same place so I clicked add new now this is where you put all your product information I'm just going to scroll down so you can kind of see what it looks like okay let's start from the top here I'm going to grab the content details the product details I'm going to paste them just into this main area here I'm just pasting everything in there right now now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the title which is this right here I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste it in here oh, I did notice one thing here this little editor here, this editor that you're using here there's a little tab here that says text and this says visual I'm going to click visual for a minute so you can see this way you get some um, choices that like I can make bold and italic and things like that here. Now I'm going to rearrange this content a little bit. Um, I'm going to start with this part here I think could be at the top. And then we go into the ingredients and then we have the ingredient highlights below it. I'm going to bold that. Now, when you're um, on the actual product page, there is a short summary of the product at the top and a longer description at the bottom. Unfortunately, it's backwards on the back end. This is um, this top section here that I just pasted all this in. This is actually the full details, which shows up on the product page at the bottom. I'm going to copy this introductory two paragraphs. I'm going to go down here where it says product short description. I'm going to paste that in here because that's going to show up at the top of the page. All right, so that information is in there. Now let's go ahead and set up the actual product pricing. Here you have a price of $29.95. I'm just going to copy that and stick it in here. And then in your... Um, we can go through these tabs. You can see that this is the simple product we're using here. There's a bunch of varieties of stuff you can use here, but we're going to stick with simple. Inventory, if you did want to keep inventory, you could have inventory. Oh, I didn't get a, a SKU number for this. Um, you can put one here. You can manage this stock if you want to, and then just keep track of it, starting with, you know, whatever, 100. I'm not going to click that right now, though. And uh, this, that's where the SKU number goes. So down in shipping, here is the weight. This is the weight for shipping, which you have is 15 ounces. So that is done. And you don't have to worry about shipping classes or anything like that. This is, this is all we use to calculate shipping. You're not linked to any products. You don't have any attributes. So you don't have to worry about the rest of this information here. I'm going to keep the uh, 8 fluid ounce. Actually, uh, that should be a little higher, I think, in the description. I'm going to put it below this here. I'm also going to add it to the short description at the bottom here. That could be a visual text. Great. So now, your product information is in there. Title, long description, Pricing, shipping, and the short description. Now, if you go on the other side over here, now we have to categorize this. Um, this is a unscented hand and body lotion. So I'm going to say that it's a moisturizer. And it's a lotion. So here's the categories um, of the products. 
they can be in multiple categories. And then once you have your category select, you scroll down and you put the product image in. There's an image and there's a gallery. So if you have more than one photo, you can add things to the gallery, but you, sh you must have a, we don't must, but you should have a product image. And when I click on that, it pops open the media library. This is all the photos that are on your site right now, all the images that are on your site. We're going to upload a file from the hard drive. And here's your image right there. So that's uploading. It's best to make all your images square or they're going to get cropped funny because they get put into the the website as, as square images. So there you have your image in there. You gotta wait for it to appear. If you save before then you you'll lose your image. So make sure you see it there. Okay. Now you just publish. Just like that. And so now this is published and you can view the product. It's pretty easy. Just right here there's a button that says view there's a link. I'm gonna right click that and open it in a new tab. And we'll see how it turned out. Great. So there's our product. There's the price. There's the short description. Here's our add to cart button. It's in moisturizers. It's a lotion. Here's that long description I told you about. Additional information. This will be the weight, shipping weight. Currently no reviews. Related products down at the bottom. This is just because of the categories that this product is in. Cool. There you go. That's the back end. That's the front end. All right. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments or uh, give us a call.